Let's be clear what's happening in this country. It's Nazism. Republicans are Nazis. You cannot separate yourselves from the bad white people. So far, 2024 has been shaping up to be as wild and volatile of a year as I predicted. The stock market is gyrating worse than Jenna Jameson's personal toy collection. We've had not one, but two political deletion attempts. And somehow everyone is a racist. And now one film attempts to explain at least a little bit of how we got here. Matt Walsh's documentary, Am I Racist? has been released widely and has garnered an astounding 99% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. At least some of that has to come from his own fan base. But does his fan base account for all the hype? And is this film any good? Does it work well as a documentary? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is modern Hollywood. Before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe. If just a fraction of the 95% of you who watch but haven't subscribed yet hit that button, it would make a huge difference in helping the channel grow. And the best part is, subscribing is completely free. Matt Walsh has been a crabby conservative firebrand for quite some time. He's joined the ranks of the conservative media outlet The Daily Wire, along with the likes of Michael Knowles, Ben Shapiro, and Brett Cooper. I have to preface that I don't agree with everything Matt Walsh says. Like everyone else's opinion pieces, I take what he says with a giant grain of salt. I listen to the Daily Wire folks on the right, but I also listen to the likes of Cenk Uger and the Young Turks, Breaking Points, and Kyle Kalinske's secular talk. Listening to all sides of the political spectrum and making up your own mind using your own critical thinking skills is the way to be an informed voter after all. And there has been a tectonic shift in American politics over the last 10 years. So an open mind with a heavy dose of critical thinking is required to navigate this massive sea change. I've seen the change I'm talking about happen slowly over time. I remember a time when the US Democratic Party was the party of civil liberties like free speech and free press. I distinctly remember how anti-war they were on top of protecting minorities from real, actual racism. Fast forward 20 years, and they've morphed into something completely unrecognizable. They now clamp down on free speech online, as we've seen. The mainstream media has become a propaganda machine of the political left. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, or DEI for short, has become the de facto neo-racism of the 21st century. And this is where Matt Walsh's film comes into play. In the movie Am I Racist? Matt Walsh sets out to explore how we got here as a society. In the beginning of the film, he correctly asserts that we didn't used to focus so much on race or race relations when he was growing up. I'm roughly the same age as Matt Walsh, and I can absolutely verify that by the time I finished high school in 2001, absolutely no one was talking about race. We had finally beat racism as a whole. Sure, there were some pockets of assholes here and there, but on the whole, we had overcome the horrors of racism by the turn of the century. One of the things that I felt Matt Walsh failed to discuss and bring up in the film was how we went from 2001, when we didn't focus on race, to 2024 where everything was racially motivated. I can briefly explain and fill in the blanks. When Barack Obama was elected president of the US in 2008, the political left celebrated like there was no tomorrow. They had finally won the culture war. But instead of taking that W and just being happy with it, they allowed themselves to be taken over by a radical wing of activists. It happened so slowly and so subtly that no one noticed as it was happening. The first major red flag sign that something was going very wrong in Western culture was the gendered bathroom debate in 2015. That was the canary in the coal mine and a harbinger of the world to come. Matt Walsh intelligently chose to skip that because he didn't approach this film from a political angle. This is something that I have to commend him for. It would have been very easy to go down the political rabbit hole and blame the left for being co-opted by its radical elements. But in Am I Racist, Matt Walsh stays away completely from the political argument 
and ultimately, through a very convoluted narrative, makes the argument from an economic perspective. This is a very innovative way of tackling the issue of race and racism. By approaching it from an economic perspective, Matt Walsh showed how corporatism grew to take advantage of a historical weakness in the American political framework. Think about it this way. Personally, I am staunchly pro-choice when it comes to the topic of abortion. Whenever I discuss the topic with my conservative friends though, I provide an economic argument, which is, if you take away abortion in one state, that is a tax on the working poor. For example, if some economically destitute 16-year-old girl gets pregnant, she has to drive 800 miles to the nearest abortion clinic, which she can't afford, whereas an affluent girl can be flown by her rich daddy to Chicago or New York much easier. By utilizing economic arguments like this, rather than political ones, Matt Walsh was much more successful in this film than anyone wants to give him credit for. Now, as for the negatives, there were points where the film dragged on a bit. Certain scenes, such as the group therapy and dinner scenes, were a bit much. I'm not exactly sure how they staged these, because I highly doubt these people would have consented to being filmed. But who knows, it may be a technicality. It also made the film appear to be too much of a parody, rather than a serious attempt at tackling the issue of the economic exploitation of liberals by hucksters. Walsh didn't get to the thesis of the film until the very end, and not through exposition, but rather through a speech. What do I talk about on my channel? What does a movie have to do with its story? Oh yeah, it has to show rather than tell. And this is a huge issue with Am I Racist? Its convoluted narrative didn't arrive at any point until Matt Walsh stood up in the diner and made a speech about how grifters were taking advantage of liberals and their guilt. Perhaps if the dinner and group scenes showed more of the discussion, it may have worked better. Overall, Am I Racist is a decent first attempt, or first draft if you will, at tackling the subject of the industrialization of race and racism. Many different factions, which include grifters and hucksters, are making money off the topic of racism. While Matt Walsh does eventually get to a good point, he does so through a convoluted narrative that took absolutely way too long to get there. Does the film have its funny moments? Absolutely! Matt Walsh's hipster alter ego is pretty funny here. Not as funny as in What is a Woman, but definitely got a few chuckles out of me. I think that Am I Racist does need another, more serious follow-up with a tighter script because this is a very important topic in the 2020s. But what do you guys think about all this? Did you like Am I Racist? And do you think it got the point across to the normies? Please do let me know down below in the comments and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one! Okie dokie!